Hey there, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and today I'm giving you a sneak peek at the Lamy All-Star Autumn Pink and Sage, the new 2024 Special Edition Part 2. Now hold on, didn't Lamy release two Special Edition All-Stars already this year? Well, yes, they did. They did Aquatic and Fiery. Well, that was months ago, and they've got more now. They're making these ones for online sellers only. That's something they tried out with Safaris earlier this summer, and now they're doing it with the All-Stars. These are both nice, subtle colors, like a pastel kind of a vibe. They're gonna be the same structurally as all other All-Stars, if you're familiar with the model. You know, they're all made of aluminum, using those Lamy stainless steel nibs that you can swap between all the Lamy pens. Um, that's really cool. So what makes these pens in particular interesting is really gonna be the colors. Autumn Pink is a soft, light pink. And instead of doing a black top finial like they do on most standard All-Stars, they went with a pale pink finial, which I think complements the pen body color really well. Now, they've been trying this on some other All-Star Special Editions recently, and I'm curious to hear what you think about this finial color. Now, I personally do think it, it depends on the color choice, whether it works or not. Uh, and for this one, I, you know, I'm kind of into it. And then when you uncap the pen, you'll see the grip, which would on most All-Stars, be a smoky gray color if it was a conventional All-Star. But here you get a translucent pink that's a, actually a little bolder pink uh, than the body color, but it's still very complimentary. I'm very curious to hear how you like this as well, because they've done this on some other All-Stars. Very mixed feedback on this one, but I think this one actually looks really nice. It's very complimentary, not too contrasting, and I really like this pink shade. Now the trim and the nib are black, which I think looks really sharp with this pink color and matches great. Now Sage is a pale green color, and just like Autumn Pink, it has a colored top finial that complements the body color. Now my initial reaction on the finial, you know, leans positive. I like how it's a change from the normal black. There's a small part of me that wishes maybe it was a little bit darker, but I'm not totally firm on that. I can get on board with this color choice. And then also like Autumn Pink, when you uncap it, Sage has a grip that complements the body color as well. This is gonna be a translucent, kind of a mid-green color. Now, I really like the grip on this, and I think it's phenomenal. I really love it. So maybe the finial, I want it to be a little darker to match the grip. It all works cohesively together quite well. This one's gonna have black trim and a black nib as well, which with this green, I think looks phenomenal best color choice you could have for this trim. Now, Lamy has quite a few All-Stars out there at this point, so I thought it'd be good to show you these pens next to some other All-Stars and some other pens maybe close in color. Uh, let's start out with Autumn Pink. Lamy Studio Rose. Now, this one is probably the closest in color. It's a little, it's a little paler of a color, uh, more of like a powdery rose as opposed to the vibrancy uh, that you have with the All-Star. It's a pretty good comparison. I think, you know, this uh, is kind of in between color between the body and the finial color. Lamy Scala Rose. Now this one is very similar in color to the studio I just showed you. Um, again, it's kind of a, a lighter pink, more of a powdery kind of color. Different finish to it than the All-Star here, but it might give you a decent comparison. Not a super popular pen. I don't know how many of you out there have it, but it's a it's a not a bad comparison. Lamy Lux Rose Gold. This is a rose gold color, which has some pink to it, but it really looks a lot more yellow. So you can really see the pink jumping out on this autumn pink as compared to the rose gold. Lamy All-Star Lilac. Now this one, you can see the lilac has got a lot more purple to it. You can really see the, the lighter pink color that the autumn pink is gonna have on this. It's got a black finial as opposed to the pink one. And then you get that regular kind of smoky uh, translucent grip. So, you know, uh, it's more of a conventional All-Star. You can see the differences that you get with the, uh, the Autumn Pink. All-Star Vibrant Pink. Now, this one looks way more magenta, really much louder, much punchier. So if you're looking for something maybe a little more subtle, you're gonna get that with the Autumn Pink. And again, conventional finial, conventional grip on this Vibrant Pink. You can see the differences on the Autumn Pink. All-Star Raspberry. Now, Raspberry is not a pen that a lot of people have. This one's from years ago. It is a really nice color though. Um, I like the, you know, it's a very pinky red color, but it is way more red than you get with the Autumn Pink. Um, you can see in the Autumn Pink here in comparison, you have a little more of a purple, kind of a blue tinge to it as opposed to more leaning red. Lamy All-Star Fiery. So this is one that came out just a few months ago. It's more of a brighter pink with a, a strong red leaning to it. Now this is one that did do a different finial to it. So I'm curious to hear what you think about the comparison between this and the autumn pink. Also has a different grip on it, but if you notice the grip is not the exact same pink. You get more of a true red 
on this Fiery, and then it leans a little more pink on the grip with the Autumn Pink. So now let's talk some ink recommendations because I know a lot of you like to pair your inks with the pens. Now there are really only two Lamy Pink inks and neither of them really match this pen, but here's a list of some non Lamy inks that I think are probably closest matching to this pen. The Sailor Dipton Coral Humming. Now this is an interesting color, relatively new from Sailor. It's a lighter pink, got a little bit of shimmer to it. Not a hugely popular color, but it's a newer one to the scene. I think it's worth a look. The Jacques Urban Rui Donc. Now this one's impossible to pronounce if you're just reading it, if you don't know French. Um, it's a nice pale pink color, surprisingly popular for being a pale pink, but um, you know, it's a pretty decent one uh, that matches this pen. Robert Oster Rose Gilt Tint. This is a surprisingly popular Robert Oster color. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it as well. Um, very popular color. It's a little bit darker. Maybe it matches the grip a bit, but um, very popular color and I can recommend this one easily. The Sailor Shikiori Sakura Mori. Fairly conventional ink color. It's gonna be a nice lighter pink, especially if you're using it with a finer nib. It's not gonna be as dark and saturated, so it'll uh, match the pen a little bit more. It's in Sailor's smaller ink bottle, but uh, you know it's a decent color and it performs really well. And then we have Ferris Wheel Press Radiant Rose Wing. So this is an interesting color because it's not just a pink, but it has a duochrome pink and gold shimmer to it. So if you want some shiny stuff, this one will definitely do it. Um, and it's in a nice lighter pink color that, uh, I don't know, I think it'll, it'll be kind of interesting. Then I got two colors here that sort of match the grip. Again, the grip is gonna be a darker color. Uh, in their Crystal series, they have a color called Rhodonite. Uh, it's a fairly bright color. It's like a magenta type color. It's not spot on, but it's pretty close and it's a, it's a really cool color, very vibrant. And then we have Pilot Iroshizuku Momiji. This is a fairly popular pink color. Um, Pilot inks behave really nicely, no crazy properties or anything, um, but it's gonna be an, a bright, uh, fitting, pretty vibrant uh, pinky red that'll match the grip well. All right, so that's what we got for Autumn Pink. Now let's move on to Sage. We'll start out with comparing the pen to some other green pens. Lummy All-Star Silver Green. Now this one, honestly, I've had to keep from getting them mixed up because they are so close in color. This is an old special edition. And actually, when they first came out with it, it had black trim up until 2008. And then they changed it to silver trim uh, from 2008 to 2010. So it's kind of special to have one with black trim like this. And I was like, wow, I can't believe how close these match. So if you missed out on silver green, because they are hard to find, this is gonna be a great replacement for that. Of course, the difference is gonna be the finial on the top plus the grip. So if you happen to have both and you get them mixed up, you at least have some indicator on both parts of the pen as to which one is which. I have no idea if they intended for this to be the same color. I doubt it. It's probably just coincidental, but either way, it's slightly different. So to my eyes, the, the Sage has slightly more shine to it, if that matters at all. And it's ever so slightly darker. But I mean, if you held the two from across the table, I doubt you'd be able to tell the difference, you know, without looking at the finial or the grip. Lamy All-Star Blue Green. Now this one is gonna be a brighter color. It's gonna have more blue to it than what you have on the Sage. Um, more conventional, you know, finial and grip color. It's gonna have that silver trim instead of the black. This might be a pen that more of you have seen than, you know, the silver green. Lamy All-Star Petrol. So this special edition just came out last year. It's really not that close in color, but I wanted to show it just as a contrast to show you how light Sage really is. The grip is also not as dark as petrol, but uh, maybe gives you some idea. The, the petrol is really a much darker color, a lot more blue to it. Um, Sage looks really nice, kind of different color, but it's, it's at least gets you some comparison there. Lummy All-Star Charged Green. Now this pen hardly even looks green. It looks like neon yellow in comparison to the Sage, but it's very loud. You know, it's this color was like, wow, this is crazy. Uh, but anyway, it shows you the comparison with the Sage. Sage looks obviously much greener, way less yellow to it than, than the Charge Green. All right, so those are the pen body comparisons. Let's talk about some ink choices for Sage. All right, first one I've got here is Wearing Gull Peter Pan. Now this is gonna be a little bit more yellow to it. It's kind of more of a foresty green, uh, not quite as, as, you know, subtle as the Sage, but uh, it's gonna be a decent match. We got Ferris Wheel Press Moss Park Green. This one is gonna have a little more gray to it probably, but it's it's a decent match for the Sage. Uh, I think if you're looking for something that's, uh, the ink itself is a little more subtle than the pen even, this might be a good choice. Sailor Shikiori Waka Oguisu. 
Now this one has a lot more yellow to it. It's a little bit of a deviation, not quite matching sage, but if you're close enough to it and you don't mind that yellow, um, it is kind of an interesting color on paper. And last one I got for you is Sailor Yurameku Ama Moyoi. Now this one is again, kind of like uh, a grayish green, which is pretty decent match for this one, especially if you're using it uh, in a broader nib and you put it on a little heavier. Um, I think, you know, just on the paper, it might be a little bit lighter than the pen, but the, the color is not too far off. All right, now let's talk about the colors that are going to match the grip of the pen since the grip color is a little bit darker. So first color I have, this is a Lamy color this in their straight standard line. It's called Lamy Green. It's gonna be a brighter color. So, you know, not a total match, but it is a Lamy color. So I thought I'd mention it. And then Lamy has another one in their crystal line called Peridot. This is gonna be a darker green, but uh, I do think it's gonna complement well, especially on the grip. All right, this next one, Diatramentis Document Ink Green Gray. I think this one's pretty spot on for the grip. The green gray is a great way to describe what this grip looks like. Um, this ink is gonna be waterproof as well. It's fairly flat in color, not heavy shading or anything, but it's a, it's a decent color, it's got a good reputation. Jerobant Lier Sauvage. Now again, this is a brighter green, kind of like Lamy green, but this is a really well-performing ink. It's a very just pleasant green color, so I can easily recommend that. I don't think this ink gets enough love. It's a great color. Diatramentis Jane Austen. This one is pretty spot on as well. It's more of a kind of a gray green, a little bit darker in color, but I think this will be good for the, the grip matching as well. Now, both these pens are gonna be available for the same price as all of the other Lamy All-Stars at $47 MSRP. We're gonna have it at Goulet Pens for $37.60. Now, it doesn't come with a converter. The Z28 converter that you can get for it is an additional $6 if you wanna live that ink bottled life, which I would recommend because their cartridges are proprietary. It's gonna limit your ink choices quite a bit if you don't do the converter. I'm not sure how many of these they're making. They are going to be a special edition. They're for online only. They haven't really done a whole lot of these online only things. So your guess is as good as mine, how long they will last. I think these colors are kind of nice. So I don't think they'll be just sitting around for too long, but I don't know if you are really into these colors, I would maybe move them towards the top of your buy list. So there you go. Let me know what you think of Autumn Pink and Sage. Lamy is definitely on a roll this year and we have more pens to come, believe it or not. Um, so keep an eye out at gouletpens.com for even more coming out later this year. And you can learn a lot of other things about fountain pens over at gouletpens.com. Now subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our TikTok, follow our Instagram, and you can see a lot more fountain pen content. Thank you so much for watching and right on.